Sometimes they can use either one, but they're only using one, okay? Some children, they have one eye straight and the other eye crooked, yeah? This is the one they're using, and they know. You say, which eye is better? The left eye is better. Okay, good. You don't have to do anything about it, but it's, it's interesting to know that. And if the other eye crosses, the brain just ignores it. Instead of seeing double vision or two because you have two directions, the brain only sees one. That's like your visualization you were talking about. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's very interesting how the brain gets used to this. Yes. All right? um, so one eye is better. So if you see them using this one, that's good, that's fine. They, they'll figure out which one to use. The nystagmus, so the eyes shake, right? But they shake together. Sometimes if they're looking this direction, it may be very bad, but they look this direction and it's only a little bit. Have you seen that? That's called the null position. So every child has a place that's a little better. I've seen one child, I think, in one of your schools, maybe if you remember this, he goes like this, and he sees better like this. Oh, so uncomfortable. But that's how he sees best. When you say straighten your head, his eyes go like this. They don't see very well when they're shaking. Now, the child does not see the world in motion. It's not moving for them. They just see, and they see a little worse. If it's shaking too much, it's just a little worse. It's a little more blurred. We want to help them and get the best vision possible. And when their eyes are not shaking so much, it's better. But, but if, you, if, if your eyes shake, you would see everything dizzy. But for them, they are born this way, and they don't see the world moving. Do you understand that? Yes. Sometimes that null position where they see best is right in front. That's perfect because they have to move things closer to see them bigger. And so if it's in front where the eyes are slower, then yay. So some children have it easier than other children. Every one of them is different. So it's difficult to just say treat everyone the same because each of their vision condition is different. And when, if I'm able to go over their record with you, then I can explain what level they see, how big print they see. Don't you want to know how big it is they can see when you're teaching in your classroom? Because if it has to be this big, then you write on the board a little bigger. They can use their telescope, but it's nice if some of the time they don't have to use it. Yeah. And using block letters is better. I don't know about you, but my print, it's not so good. But if you can try to write a little bit uh, straight for them, it's a little easier to read on the board. The other thing is contrast. If the blackboard is very uh, dirty and you write on there, it barely stands out. So white is faded. It's difficult for them to see when it's no contrast. So a clean chalkboard with white chalk, the contrast is best. They'll see much better.